Okay, so I'm going to talk about the illegal move, or sometimes it's called the slide rule method of factoring. And I'm going to talk about why that rule actually does make mathematical sense. So remember, you use this rule if you have a problem like, say we have 6x squared plus 23x plus 20 uh, equals y, and we're supposed to write this in factored form. And say you've tried factoring it, you've tried testing on different numbers a few times, you've gotten frustrated, and you want a more systematic approach to solve this. And at that point, you might call on the slide rule, or the illegal move, sometimes it's called. And the illegal move basically is just, okay, we can set up our diamond, and we're going to, in our bottom, we're going to have our middle term, so 23. And we have to find two terms. A and B that when they add up they're going to equal 23 and when you multiply A and B they're going to equal 20 times 6 so our last term multiplied by the coefficient on our leading term so 20 times 6 gives us 120 okay so after you've thought about the sum maybe you come to A and B are going to be 15 and 8 and you would say okay x plus 15 times x plus 8 and then you said okay I had to multiply by 6 to get my top number so now I'm going to divide by 6 on both of these alright and then let's simplify that x plus 4 over 3 times x plus 5 over 2 and then you can just slide over your 3 slide over your 2 and you get 2x plus 5 multiplied by 3x plus 4 equals y. And now this is in factored form. You did it pretty simply. So I'm going to do this problem again except for showing um, what's going on kind of behind the scenes mathematically and why using this method actually does make mathematical sense and why it works. Okay. Okay, so remember we had this kind of hairy quadratic equation which we wanted to write in factored form. So this time I'm going to do, th do that in a way that kind of mirrors the slide slash illegal rule, but shows you what's going on behind the scenes. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to get rid of this six on this leading coefficient. So I'm just gonna divide everything, both sides, by six, okay? So for this next part, I'm gonna have x squared plus 23 over six x plus 20 over six equals y over 6. Okay, so then I'm going to do my diamond again and now in the bottom I'm going to have my middle term 23 over 6 In the top I'm going to have 20 over 6 and then remember I'm just going to, want to find two terms that multiply to equal my top and add up to equal my bottom. So we know if, we're, if they're going to add up they're going to have to have a common denominator so they're both going to have 6 on the bottom. And now because they're going to multiply, I know my bottoms are going to multiply, so it's going to be 6 times 6 in the bottom. So I'm just going to rewrite this 20 over 6 as 20 over 6 times 6 over 6. I'm just going to rewrite it in a new form. So I would end up getting 120 over 6 in my top. So I've got 120 over 6 up top, 23 over 6 on the bottom. So it's going to have to add up to become this, multiply to become that. Oh, actually 6 times 6, my bad, the bottom should be 120 over 36. There we go. So now, um, so what multiplies to equal 120 and adds up to give me 23? Well, it's the same thing as we had before. It's going to be 15 and 8. 15 over 6 plus 8 over 6 gives me 23 over 6. 15 over 6 times 8 over 6 gives me 120 over 36. Okay, so now I can just write this in the way I usually would affect with um, a simple leading coefficient of 1 factors, factoring method. So I've got x plus 15 over 6 multiplied by x plus 8 over 6 is equal to y over 6. So I don't know if you can see it, we're actually almost done. I'll just um, rewrite this in simplified form. I've got x plus 5 over 2 times x plus 4 over 3 equals y over 6. Now I want to get rid of this 6 on my y, 
So I'll just multiply both sides by 6. Multiply both sides by 6, okay? So I'll just cancel these guys out. Then, now if I were to reorder the 6, if I just um, distribute the 6, so I have a multiply it by 2 on this and multiply it by 3 on this, so that could just look like 2 times x plus 5 over 2 times 3 times x plus 4 over 3. Because 6 is just 2 times 3 and you with multiplication the order doesn't matter. I just put my 2 in front here, my 3 in front here. And then if I distribute these through, then I'm going to get 2 times x will give me 2x plus uh, 5 over 2 multiplied by 2. These 2's are going to cancel out and I'll be left just with 5. So I've got 2x plus 5 here. If I distribute this 3x, 3 through here, I'll get 3 times x gives me 3x. Three, 3 times 4 over 3 gives me, okay, those 3's are going to cancel out. And I get plus 4. And boom, exact same answer. And I basically did the same method. I just showed the fractions and showed why the legal move actually is legal. And don't forget your y's. This is all equal to y. Okay? Good.